Hey there art adventurers, welcome back to Andy's Art Lab, your go-to place for unleashing creativity. Before we dive into this week's art experiment, can you take a quick moment to subscribe to the channel? Every follow helps us hugely grow the channel bit by bit. Today we're going to dive into another way of creating creative coasters. Now say that for us three times. So imagine this scenario, you're enjoying your morning cup of coffee, setting it down on a coaster that seems to have glistening water droplets. It's a conversation starter, a visual masterpiece, and it's right at your fingertips. Today I'm going to show you how to create this jaw dropping effect step by step. First up, let's talk about those droplets. So as you can see on screen, I'm using UV resin to create them. It's like bottling a moment in time. These tiny orbs are like dew drops that decide to pause the journey on your coaster. So there's nothing too special about this technique. Essentially you've got your bottle of UV resin and you're squeezing out little drops to sit on the surface of the silicon coaster. It's good to have some randomness to these, so make some small ones, some larger ones, some in-between ones, and sort of randomly place them on the silicon. The next step is where the magic happens. You ready for it? UV light. Whatever you do, do not take this UV light into the bathroom. You just can't unsee that. So this is the reason it's called UV resin, it's because it cures under UV light. Here we're using artificial UV light, but you can also just go and put this on a windowsill so that the natural UV light can cure it as well. It just takes a little bit longer. So this curing process is a good three to four minutes, but with the magic of editing, I'm gonna speed that up. So what you're seeing is about four or five times speed, and before you know it, we're ready to test to see if the resin has dried. Now I'm sure there's other ways to do this, I effectively just give the resin a little bit of a tap to see that it's hard, and uh, yeah, sometimes it'll touch with the finger, and yep, that's all hard, ready for the next part, and this is where the transformation really kicks in. The next part of making this coaster is adding the mica powder. Now there's a huge variety of mica powders out there, some are good, some are not so great. Uh, this is from Let's Resin, there's a link in the description below, and I find that their mica powders are pretty good. I just love how mica powders just give that nice shimmery effect, uh, it makes it really really stand out. What you can see me doing on screen here is spreading that mica powder around the silicon mold. It's really important to sort of get into every nook and cranny and to coat the silicon mold so that when we pour the resin in, that resin bonds with the mica powder on the surface. So once again with the magic of editing, I'm just going to speed this part of the process up. Um, but now is probably a good time to remind you to think about subscribing to the channel. So every subscriber really helps me grow this channel and I'd love for you to follow us along on this journey. Before I got into creating with resin, I had no idea there were things such as mica powder. It's kind of like fairy dust for resin artists and it's just so beautiful, I love using it. Finish that step, our droplets have had a shimmering makeover with that mica powder and now we're ready for the next stage which is applying the resin. In this part of the video we're just going to touch on health and safety, so here we are mixing some resin. So if you haven't seen it already I've done a health and safety video of working with resin. Have a look at that and I'll put a link on screen here so you can get to that video easily. The key things really are that you want to have gloves, mask, goggles and covering so you don't get any resin on you at all. When pouring the resin, nice and slow is the trick. We want to reduce any air bubbles forming, so we just slowly pour in to fill up the mould. Now because the UV resin has cured and we've put that mica powder over it, then the resin that we're putting on top is just going to hold that effect. It's not going to blend in. If you just had clear UV resin and you put some clear casting resin across it, then unfortunately you will lose a bit of the effect there. On the next day, and our resin is nice and hard and ready for demolding. This is the most exciting part of creating. If you're creating anything with a mold, taking that off and revealing the artwork is one of the best feelings. 
you're looking at anything that you put into the mold you're always seeing the back of it and even though that looks pretty stunning there it's when you look at the front and to see how that effect has come out is when the real magic happens we're nearly there time for the big reveal and here we go because I did use clear resin you can see a little bit of transparency through it but when it's down on a table you won't see that um, so one of the learnings here is that I could have used a different color resin and it should have got a similar effect so if I had used uh, say colored the resin black then I should have still been able to get that blue shimmer with the droplets but with a solid color this pretty simple technique has some stunning results I really love it what do you think? Leave a comment below. If you're looking for other techniques, then I also did this die drop technique. So you can check that out on the channel and have a look at how I did that. If you managed to make it all this way through the video, then thanks very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and click that notification bell to see more videos like this. Till next time, catch you in the art lab.